And welcome back to Sunrise. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. And we have breaking news this morning. A man killed earlier this morning after his car struck a tree on Lake Avenue in Rochester. According to police, officers responded to Seneca Parkway and Lake Avenue around 4.30 this morning. They tried to save the victim, but he died from his injuries. The roadway there is shut down as the investigation into a cause of that fatal crash continues. The crash, one of two on Lake Avenue over the last 12 hours, around 8.30 last night. Police responded to a pedestrian struck. The 43-year-old was taken to the hospital but later died from head trauma. The driver of that car, a 51-year-old male, has been charged with driving under the influence. Rochester police investigating a homicide on Frost Avenue. This happened around 8.30 last night as well. Officers found 25-year-old Maurice Logan suffering from a gunshot wound to the upper body. He died at the scene. No suspects are in custody. And Rochester police say gun violence overall is the worst it's been since 2012. 31 people now have died from gun violence this year, including the fatal shooting last night. There have been 219 total shootings this year. Rochester City Council members say they are working to implement a mobile trauma response unit with grief counselors and outreach workers arriving at shooting scenes. Well, demonstrations continuing in Philadelphia after that police-involved shooting there of Walter Wallace Jr. Police say the 27-year-old approached them with a knife after a mental health call. Riots and looting are now being reported. The National Guard will be deployed today. From baseball, the Dodgers are the 2020 World Series champions. They beat the Tampa Bay Rays in Game 6 last night, 3-1, to one, to clinch their seventh world title and their first since 1988. Corey Seager was named the MVP with a 400 batting average and a couple of home runs. And that footnote we mentioned earlier, Justin, uh, 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 Justin Turner of the Dodgers was diagnosed with COVID-19 and was pulled from the game during the game. So maybe a world title just in the nick of time, Josh. That's right, Mark. And uh, as far as our weather is concerned, cloudy here this morning. There will be a break or two of sun later this afternoon. That should help transport temperatures closer to the 50 degree mark. That overcast has just been uh, with us for quite a while. But here's the good news. The rain that was around uh, in the southern Finger Lakes this morning is exiting. And again, some drier air will try to come in on a southwesterly breeze. So if you're looking for some of those peaks of sun, you probably want to look to later this afternoon and uh, into uh, the time that it sets. All right, Josh, thank you. That's it for us for now here on News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update's coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe and have a great day.